Hi Aquarius, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to get you some messages. We're just doing it a little differently today. Today we're going to be giving a, or we're going to be doing a Celtic cross spread. This is a more traditional spread, one that I don't really do that all that often, because um, I kind of formulated my own way of doing readings. But I started doing this because I didn't want to change out the decks because I wasn't done the series, but then I ended up changing out the decks. So I didn't really need to do the Celtic crosses, but since I started them, I'm going to finish them and then your next reading will go back to the way that I normally do them. But today we're going to get you the Celtic cross. So let me know if you like it or not. All right. Now, now, the Celtic Cross doesn't take that long, and, you know, the video should be at least 10 minutes. So I will throw in some oracle cards and some charms at the end. So it'll be kind of like what I normally do, but just a little bit different. So well, here we go. We have Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, Judgment, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, The Fool, Knight of Wands, the Lovers, Two of Wands, Two of Cups. Wow. All right, Aquarius, this is an interesting read. Let's see. <laughs> Queen of Cups right here in the middle. That's you. That's what you are. You're very loving, very generous, very intuitive at this time. But I think you're in a really good place, especially with that Nine of Cups that's crossing you. What's crossing you is usually our cross to bear, right? But you've got a wish come true here. So things are good. Things are really good for you, Aquarius, or they will be shortly. So I like that. I like that you're you're in a good place. Now, our foundation down there is the judgment card. So our foundation is is just us looking at you know, the past, what we've done, what we've done wrong, what we can improve on, how we're going to do things differently now, how we're going to be a better person, how we're ascending, how we're learning, how we're growing, how we're having like some kind of an awakening, right? How It's just how we're leveling up. And I think that's what you're doing. I think you're leveling up in some way. Now we have four of pentacles in the past position. So in the past you used to hold on to things that you should have let go of. Things used to hold on to things a little too tightly, whether that be like anger or bitterness or jealousy or money or, you know, our kids, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You used to hold on to things too tightly and you've learned to loosen the grip. You've learned to let things go, let things roll off you, let, let things not bother you as much. Right? You're not going to hold on to any angerness and bitterness. Why? Because it doesn't serve you. You're letting it go. People are only human. People make mistakes. People do dumb things. They do them all the time. I do them all the time. We're letting it go. All right? We're letting it go. Now, I say that because in the present, you got seven of swords. And you guys know, that's the liar, cheater, and thief. So... Um, in your present moment, either you're lying to somebody or somebody's lying to you. Um, it could be about strategy, but I'm kind of feeling more about lies. I, I, you know, they could be good lies. They could be lies for a reason. There could be lies to not hurt somebody. I, it doesn't matter. That's just, they're pointing it out. You take it how it resonates. If it's not about lying or cheating, if it's about being strategic, Okay. Okay. I'm not judging you, so it don't matter. Um, but in your future, we have a leap of faith. We have the full. We have the a new beginning here, a beginning that you're going to have to trust, one that you're going to have to have faith on, one that you might not know how it's going to end up, but you're going to trust that the universe is going to catch you, that there's a safety net there for you. So... I think that's kind of exciting. I, I think that it, it feels exciting that there's a new, a new adventure for you. Knight of Wands, again, that's you. 
all the way down there, the Knight of Wands, you in the present moment feeling excited about something. Somebody lit a fire in you. You have some passion again. You're getting ready for something amazing. You're getting ready to take this leap of faith. Now, we have the lovers in the environment situation, in the uh, position. So for me, that means A, the lovers sometimes mean a choice between two. So like in your environment right now, you might have to make a decision between two people or two situations. Or it could just mean that you are in a very loving, committed relationship right now. Like there's some love here or there's some excitement here. Yeah, there's a lot of wands here. So, I mean, there's some passion there. Not a lot of wands, but the knight of wands. That, that's you feeling passionate. You feeling excited. So that's all in your environment. Like it's an exciting time for you right now, which I absolutely adore. Could use some of it, some of that excitement. <laughs> Uh, two of Wands is in your hopes and fears. Two of Wands is playing the waiting game. That's waiting and seeing. That's making some plans, but not really taking any action. It's it's kind of you're waiting to see which is the right path for you to take or with, which is the right decision to make. So that's where you're at. That's what you're worried about, maybe. Maybe you're worried about making a wrong decision. I wouldn't worry about it. Why? I'll tell you why. Because in your outcome is the Two of Cups. That's a deep spiritual bond with somebody. That's soulmate energy. That's that. That's the lovers. So you're I, I kind of feeling you're going to end up with a lover here. Two of Cups. Somebody that's going to make you really happy. Somebody you're going to have a really deep connection with. So, um, yeah. Aquarius, this is a really exciting read it means that life is not boring life is good and i'm happy for you so there's our celtic cross you can let me know if you liked it or not in the comments but i'm going to pull you some oracle cards anyway so let's keep going reassess all right aquarius what are we reassessing it's right next to the judgment card how about that it makes a lot of sense we're taking a look at things we're taking a second look at things and we might be getting a second chance at something, right? We're reassessing our lives and we're trying to really, really plan and figure out our future. Kick up your heels. Well, Aquarius, this is saying either A, you need to have some fun or B, life is great. You can kick up your heels. You could celebrate your little accomplishments because life is good. Either that or you just need to celebrate it, all right? Either way, great card. Exciting times. Then we have lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. How about that on the Four of Pentacles? Not holding on too tight and letting go what no longer serves us. That's, that's pretty neat. It's like you... Lifting the veil is like you finally seeing things a little bit more clearly. Seeing seeing what you want. Seeing what you don't want. And letting the negative go. Or letting what no longer serves us go. Right? You're reassessing. You're questioning your life. You're questioning everything, every decision you've made up until now. Now, that's not to say that those decisions have been wrong. Because everything happens for a reason. But we could be learning from them, right? Mm, interesting. Very interesting. We have vacation. So either you need a vacation, you're going to take a vacation, or you've recently taken a vacation. If you've recently taken a vacation, what happened on that vacation? If you are taking one, if you have one planned, have a great time. Um, if you need one, then do what you can to take one. Because uh, we all should have some self-care there. When we feel, when our bodies tell are telling us we need a vacation, we should take one. Uh, it could just be saying to you, you need to stop worrying about certain things and let things play out. Right? We could take a vacation from the worry. All right, the final card I'm going to get you is investigate. 
Ask questions. Think before acting. Ask questions. Questioning everything. Ask questions. You got it again. So if there's things you don't know, I would ask questions. I wouldn't hold back. Get your answers. You deserve answers. We all do. So don't be afraid to ask the questions you need to ask. All right, you have questioning twice. So that means that there's something you need to know. So I would be blunt and ask a question. All right, I'm gonna pull you a few charms. You have the ghost, which is a pleasant surprise. Something very good coming in for you. We have Cupid. Love is in the air, maybe. We have Hello Kitty, which is a childhood charm. So maybe um, somebody from your childhood is making a reappearance with that judgment card, right? A second chance with a, with a, a childhood love, maybe. Since the lovers are here. But it's just anything from childhood. It just reminds me of childhood. That's all. We have the flag. So it's some independence here. Some freedom. We have horsepower. So it depends on this charm. Like sometimes I feel like like the Italian stallion. Like we got some wands here. Some passion here. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. Like there's somebody who's passionate about you. Or somebody you're passionate about. Or it could be just like things are picking up pace. Things are going to start speeding forward. We're going to get some, you know, some horsepower, like the energy is gaining momentum. Okay. Uh, we have the pie here. So I, I feel like you have some abundance here, whether it's abundance of love, abundance of money, but you got your slice of the pie or you're getting it. All right. There's more than enough to go around. Don't be afraid of it. We have the megaphone, so somebody is your cheerleader or you're cheering somebody on. We have new baby, which could actually be new baby, but it, I'm kind of feeling like it's a new project or new situation. Something that you're going to take on and take care of. All right, I know everything's to one side. I should have made it more, more balanced. But anyway, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Uh, I hope you liked it. Let me know. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light.